Low key, I've been waiting for him to go in on this. <laughs> And he didn't disappoint. Yeah, a lot of people ask me about that. I've, I've been meaning to do a show about that. That it was kind of coming from an elitist place, um, and I, she had me to a certain degree. And then she started getting off into basically some bed wench babble, and um, she had they they showed that she'd had a zaddy before. So a lot of that stuff she's vocabulary count bed wench babble a bed wench. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, look it up. Zaddy. If you don't know who that is. So a lot of people don't know Tariq, in my estimation, is probably the person who made the word bed wench popular. And with that, along that, he's coined Zaddy, you know, as an observation of who these women were choosing in particular. The more you know. A lot of that stuff she said was nullified. That whole thing where she wants she wouldn't date a bus driver. The thing is, with her, she's still trying to talk down to brothers in order to make herself feel better because she knows she's priced out of the game. She ain't about to really get no baller at this point. And she knows that. She spent some of her prime choosing years chasing zaddy. So a lot of these women chase these zaddies. You don't get chosen. And then when you are priced out of the game, you want to start talking crazy at brothers and trying to minimize brothers. I don't, I don't want no nigga who drive a bus. It's, it's, where, where's that coming from? There's nothing wrong with a brother who's driving a bus. Right. It's, especially when you, you know, about to hit the wall, but there's nothing wrong with that. And plus you're not, you're not in, in baller territory no more, ma'am. Cause it was, she's what, is she like 40? She's getting close to 40? 39 years old is what she is. Almost there. Cause it was, she's what, is she like 40? She's getting close to 40? And not now there's some 40 year old women in here that still look good. I'm not knocking you guys. I'm not knocking That's you That's a fact. Fly 40 year old women. Yeah. Who can still get flued out. Absolutely. That. I'm not knocking the 40 year old women. They're still very beautiful 40 year old women. There's beautiful 50 year old women. Mm -hmm. But when you are 40 years old, you can't be out here making demands like the 24 year olds. This is what I'm saying. You can't be out here making these boss demands like the 24 year olds. You better understand there's a whole crop of um, new recruits out here on the streets. <laughs> so you sitting up here at 40 and you don't look the same without your makeup on talking about what bus driver you ain't going to date and what you need and what you going to demand. And you got these ballers who got a gang of options and these options are fresh out the bakery. Mm -hmm. These 23, 24 year olds are choosing heavy, fresh, ain't got no kids, ain't got no baggage. So if a baller is about to make an investment in a relationship, where's he going to go? Somebody who's, 40 and bitter or somebody who's fresh in 23. Now, if you 40 and you got your mind right, you can still get in there. But you're 40 and bitter ain't going to cut it. In fact, when you get older, ladies, you better be more cooperative and you better have more of a soothing disposition when it comes to dudes. Mm -hmm. Don't no nigga balling out want to hear no baggage ass complaining from nobody, especially somebody who's double the age of the new recruits out here let, let, let's talk real for a minute if you get a, a cute 40 year old chick she better be talking right she better be talking real right you better be saying something flyer than what the 24 year olds are saying and he's right it's like paying full price for a depreciating asset paying full price for a used car you know a lot of times we just want to we just want to have a nice time we just want to Easy, no drama situation, but sometimes I, I notice that along with that comes sometimes other issues and baggage that you might have to deal with. But I mean, that should be part of the process of, of them actually getting themselves ready for the market. It should, I, I should have as little drama as possible. That should be something. Be talking right. She better be talking real right. You better be saying something flyer than what the 24 year olds are saying because they got a leg up. So what you gonna bring to the table that they ain't got? Just like dudes, women, see y'all, women, 
a lot of women go for the older guys as opposed to some of the younger dudes. You get a younger dude, he's a young fly dude, but the thing is, you get a young fly dude and an older guy who's still kind of fly, but the older guy's more established, his money is right. So you're like, hell, let me choose him. That's a better option. Dudes think the same way. You got two women, Game one's 40 something, one's 24. They both cute. Both still got nice bodies. The 24 year old ain't got that much baggage. The, the 40 year old one, she's still kind of bitter because of the last three niggas that had done her wrong. So now do you want to invest in that? That's how dudes think. So that 40 year old woman or the 45 year old woman, she better be talking like she got some goddamn sense. You ain't gonna be sitting up here talking about, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna date this nigga. I need this and I I need a ball that nigga. I, I want the bus owner. Own the okay. bus. So the bus owner, okay, say I'm the bus owner. And Ebony's with me on a date. I own these buses. I mean, well, what's Ebony going to bring to the table? Besides her bitter disposition, because you her disposition is bitter. That's a bitter disposition. You, you, know, you, you feel me? And dudes can sense it. Dudes can feel it. That's coming from a place of bitterness. Don't nobody want that. That's that's one of the reasons why the dudes get the 24-year-olds. That bitterness ain't kicked in yet. Bunch of niggas ain't done them wrong yet. Yeah? I want y'all to understand that when guys are trying to choose, we choose dispositions as well. We want somebody with a pleasant disposition with no psychological baggage. Mm. And women, I want y'all to understand, y'all better watch your dick intake. Dicks are like ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and them ghosts linger on your ass and dudes don't want to be with no chick with with dick ghost <laughs> humming around her you, you understand we don't want your, your dick ghost we don't want to have that shit around so you better exercise the dick demons and get that off your spirit so when you get with a new dude you talking right exercise. feel me ladies y'all feel me we, we'll have some a little real talk in here tonight exercise the demons of dick's past yes we having some real talk. Let me let's. They need to provide that as a service at either therapy or in church. An exorcism of all the previous previous men that have come in and and destroyed your life. They've come in and wreaked havoc. Let's be clear. You got some women who's 45, 50, fly. Good conversation. Niggas to get your ass. Look at people like Tracy Edmond. Oh for yeah. For example, Tracy Edmond. How old is Tracy Edmond? Tracy Edmond. She's beautiful, sister. Tracy. Tracy Edmonds is Tracy Edmonds is fifty six years young, still gorgeous as as ever, still getting chose. She's still cold. See, in her fifties, Tracy Edmonds keep niggas wiping her ass up. <laughs> she had baby face, and then Eddie Murphy, and not that is she still with Deion Sanders? Tracy Edmonds keep a nigga <laughs> wiping her up. Coach Prime. Yeah. Shout out to Coach Prime. Well, she has a good disposition. She has a very pleasant disposition. And dudes like that. Your disposition goes a long way, especially if you are a little older. You better come real correct. You better come correct. You better come through with it. Steve Harvey's wife, she was older. Steve had other options, but he got her. She's a beautiful sister. Disposition was correct. So I'm, I'm not saying that y'all are out the game. You just got to come correct. You better when you're older competing with those 24 year olds, what you got to do, you got to bring, leave that bitterness away and bring your experience to the table. It is. You got to come in the door like, look, I fuck with you nigga and me, you know, I'm not one of them young bitches out here who don't know nothing. I can help you manage this shit in here. You got to come in like that. Nigga. I can help you with the books. I can come in and get this household in order. I can get the money straight. I can and show you some investment things that I've learned. That's what niggas want to fuck with. If you are an older woman, you come in with that type of mentality, coming in with your experience, not no damn bitterness. That's, That's game. what niggas can respect. That's game for you, ladies. You dig? Y'all got to come in the door like that. You better come in letting us know you can go and handle some of these books and do all the other wifey shit. <laughs> Yeah, giving y'all ladies some game. But ladies, don't don't be the the older, bitter chick and don't be the old thought. That's another thing. There's two things y'all don't want to do. Ladies, you don't want to be the old ass bitter chick complaining about niggas and talking about what you need now. I deserve some trips from niggas. And it ain't about trying to hear all that bullshit. Trying to we just want to have a good time at that point. You know, a lot of a lot of dudes have making made concessions, you know, in certain situations and and we just want to have a good time. We don't want any drama, we don't want any stress. So, for you to bring extra added 
stuff because, you know, because of the situation. You know, it's problematic. It is. A nigga supposed to take me to Jamaica. <laughs> Shut your ass up, Gladys. You gotta go on trips. Listen, but don't you be that and don't be the old damn thought. Don't you be the, the 50-year-old chick out here in a cat suit and a BBL <laughs> And your feet look like goddamn Cicely Tyson. <laughs> don't try to be that. Don't try to outthought these young girls. You ain't gonna do it. You got them 50 years old with a Fashion Nova sponsorship. <laughs> Fresh thoughts coming out here. There's a whole new level of th thought. <laughs> y'all cannot compete. Lady, y'all 40, y'all 50. Y'all knees ain't good enough to out thought these girls coming out of here now these girls are raised off sunny delight and hot cheetos and these <laughs> are still good there's a whole level of thought going on with these girls that y'all can't compete with these girls are doing day. all types of shit you can't compete with that you're gonna blow your fucking hip out trying to compete with these damn young girls sit your ass down and help that nigga with his goddamn accounting that's what you do <laughs> the cocktails with queens this they were the top of the game man you got to give it to them. A lot of them women were at the top of their game, man. But at this point, they got to make some concessions or, you know, remain single. I mean, we've talked about them before on the channel, too. But it's a mighty fall from grace. But right now, you should be looking for happiness. Like, cut all the BS out. Cut all the, he's a bus driver. He's not on my level. He's not this. He's not that. Like, compromise needs to be made. These ladies are in their 50s in late 40s and some of it ain't, it ain't working preach on this channel for y'all older women to start speaking to these younger women so they understand what is coming down the pike and what they had to go through i repeat that that is on repeat these girls be doing all types of shit you Hell can't no. compete with that you're gonna blow your fucking hip out <laughs> trying to compete with these damn young girls sit your ass down and help that nigga with his goddamn accounting that's what you do make yourself useful that's what you do we had to put an ice pack on your damn back and i'll thought these damn girls out here come on man y'all gotta respect the game that's going on out here yeah anyway what y'all think about that Tariq is a trip man but he makes some good points we out here negotiating and a lot of times the situation being what it is a lot of these women have overvalued their place in the market and it's not it's nothing against them like he said there are going to be some women 40 plus that are going to be able to get chosen for the rest of their lives but the rest of y'all got to make some concessions right if you got the factors that he talked about you 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 don't look as good as you did in makeup like ebony even in this picture she don't even look like this anymore I can't, I can't even tell you how many years ago that was because I, I think she was with him for four years and, you know, they're not together anymore. So, come on now. You out here publicly making statements about bus drivers, you know, talking down about how mediocre they are and average and all this and that. Man, you're going to need that bus driver one day. And I think that's the, you know, Tariq breaks it down to the, to the basic level, to the basic science of this thing. And shout out to Tariq Nasheed, you know. He is one of the originators in talking about this type of information online. His books, he even wrote a book for women, you know what I'm saying? So there are women that respect his opinion, you know. He's not saying anything wrong. He's just saying it in a very blunt, factual way. You know what I mean? He's talking to you like an OG would talk to you, you know what I'm saying? And this is what I say about the women. I wish women would come to a place in their older years where they be, could become guides for these younger women so that they don't make the same mistakes that they made in their youth, you know? But um, <laughs> I couldn't wait for Tariq to weigh in on this. And he had, he had kind of missed it a couple of times. So I was, I was just making sure that I caught it. And when I did, I was cracking up, man. Talk about them knees, them knees getting bad. <laughs> Can't do that. The hands on your knees, shaking ass on your thought shit. What, what Megan say? Megan's knees. But uh, he never disappoints in the, in the relationship talk. Tariq Nasheed never disappoints, man. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification for all uploads. This is Fawcett Media.